Hi, in today's session, we're going to look at binding and unbinding service instance of HDI container to the design time artifacts in Business Application Studio. When we're working on HANA native developments, especially the database objects development, we start creating tables, views, and calculation views, etc. After creating these design time artifacts, we start deploying them to the database instance. In order to do the deployment, the service of HANA instance must be bound to the design time artifacts. By default, the service binding is not mandatory. While creating the DB module, you can choose to bind the service or not. If you choose to bind the service after creating the database or design time artifacts and you deploy it, it is going to look like this. A database connection is established to the, to the project. And you can also navigate to the DB Explorer from the database connection here. If you choose to not to bind the service to an HDI container, then your objects wouldn't bind to, to the database. In this particular example that we have seen in my previous session is having a binding service so that you can see when I open the calculation view, all the tables that are used in this calculation view are clearly shown as active to the database objects. Now I'm going to show the scenario of having an unbinding service to your design time artifacts. Since I already created this particular design time artifact with binding, now I'm going to unbind it. I can do this by going to the database connection and choose my service and then say unbind. You can see the message service is being unbound. So now the connection is not established to the design time artifacts. I'm going to close this one and I open it again. You can see that the, the reference, references of those tables are lost. The error symbol on those tables can be seen. If you start deploying these objects to the database, it is going to fail because there is no service instance bound to the design term artifact. So it is very important to have a service instance of a HDI container bound to the design term artifact in order to proceed with the deployment or make any changes to the existing objects or create a new objects and then start deploying to the database. Okay, with that, we have seen how this is going to look like when it is not bound. Let's go back and do the binding. I'm going to go to the database connection that was created previously and now we start hit, hitting bind. It's going to ask me what container you bind to an HDI container. It's going to ask me to create a new one or to the existing one. I'm going to put this to the existing container that was previously assigned. A service uh, assignment is being done. Now I'm going to do the design. Now you can see that an active binding service to the design time artifact. I'm going to close this one and reopen now. It's going to show as active or green. And now I can make the changes. I also can deploy properly or without any issues. So now we understand the difference between binding and unbinding of the design. Now we understand the difference between binding and unbinding service instance to the design time artifacts. At this point, I would like to make a note here that Unbinding a service is not deleting the object from the database. It is just taking out the reference from the design time artifact. Now, I would like to talk about deleting a service instance from the HANA system. Let's take a look at what are the services in the HANA system by writing CF services command on my terminal. So I get two services, one is HC, that is a database service, and HDI POC, that's a service instance for HDI. If I would like to delete a service of HDI POC, I'm going to issue a command CF delete service and then provide the service name. That is HDI underscore POC. And it's going to say enter. And it's going to ask me uh, uh, whether you really delete the service. Yes. Not pressing the enter, but if you say yes, then it is going to delete this service instance from the system. When the service instance is being deleted, you would, it wouldn't be possible to bind it again. So you have to create another service instance 
and then bind it to your design time artifacts. You can also delete the service instance from the cockpit. So you can, this is the BTP cockpit. If this is the service instance that I was talking about in the command line tool. So you can say, select it and hit the three dots and say delete. It's going to do the same thing as the command line or the terminal in BAS does. I go back to the business application studio and then say no. Okay, the delete has been canceled. Lastly, I would like to talk about deleting database instance of HANA Cloud or HANA database. This is very important. This is very crucial as well. Deleting a service instance of HDI shared is only going to delete that particular container. Deleting one container in the system doesn't affect any other containers of the HDI. But the main service instance of HANA Cloud or HANA database in this particular system, it is HC. It's very important. So this is the entire database service. So if you try to delete this service instance, your entire HANA database is going to get dropped, deleted. And it is hard to get the recovery, uh, reaching out to the service team and get the backup and recovery uh, process done. It is going to take a lot of uh, uh, process for you, especially with, with the production instance. It is very tedious process to get back your entire HANA Cloud uh, database instance back. The deletion of HANA Cloud database instance can be performed in HANA cockpit as well or the BTP cockpit as well. This is my the service instance of HANA Cloud. Then if you start um, if you start making it delete. It's going to drop the entire database. So it's always better to have some service keys defined so that it is going to ask you or prompt you to delete the service keys first. So it's kind of a uh, alert that you may get uh, uh, for not doing it accidentally. Summarizing the today's topic. So we've seen what is uh, binding and unbinding of a service instance of STI. Also, we have seen deleting the service instance of HDI container from the cockpit, BTP cockpit, as well as the terminal from Business Application Studio. And lastly, we've seen the importance of HANA Cloud instance, database instance, and also able to delete that HANA Cloud database instance from BTP cockpit, as well as PAS terminal. That's all for today's session. We'll meet in another session. Thank you.